Welcome back to another episode of Side Hustle Inspiration. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm here chilling on the couch at the W Hotels in beautiful downtown Wilmington by the riverfront today. I wanted to talk briefly about article marketing, blog commenting, grassroots internet marketing, and using the brick and mortar approach to building your side hustle from the ground floor up. When you're just starting out and making the transition from employee to entrepreneur. Now mind you, this is a video, I'm gonna be really brief about this before I get into the next video, answering a lot of questions from court. The next video will likely be a little over an hour. So with that said, in watching the next video, go ahead and get your sandwiches ready, get your food ready, put the food in the oven or call delivery, get your beverages, and sit down and get ready to enjoy an hour plus of Quora questions answered by me on video. All right, today I'm talking about article marketing, blog commenting, content marketing, video marketing, and using a natural grassroots brick and mortar, humble beginnings approach to building your side hustle from the ground floor up. Back in the late 1990s and early 2000s, article marketing was a big thing on the internet. I'm just adjusting this a little bit. Article marketing was really a big thing on the internet. Google loved article directory sites. Before the Google Panda update, before the whole big algorithm thing um, wiped a, a majority, a vast majority of article directories off of the map in search results today, article marketing was the big thing. Basically, if you don't know what article marketing is, it is a grassroots, humble beginnings, it is a cost-free approach to building traffic back to a blog, a website, getting traffic to an affiliate link in hopes of converting that affiliate link visitor into a potential sale. Article marketing was also used to promote YouTube videos. It was also promote to, used to promote scholarly articles, ebook sales, so on, so forth. Because a majority of article marketers were abusing article directories using article spinning programs, which is, by the way, it is a form of black hat SEO. Black hat SEO is black hat search engine optimization. That is an illegal marketing tactic that um, spammers use to, um, I guess, cloak their way to the top of the search engine results pages for certain keywords and phrases. I'll get into black hat SEO a little bit down the road, but I don't want to get into too, too much of that right now. But a lot of the black hat SEOs were using article marketing as a means of spamming um, search engines and getting instant traffic and backlinks and sales. That's one of the reasons why article marketing is literally dead today. But article marketing was primarily used by honest article marketers. They sat at their computers, laptops, home computers, and they genuinely wrote content. They didn't use dictation programs. They sat at the computer and manually wrote content using the keyboard. They submitted these 500 word articles in hopes of having an instant approval. There's people walking in and out of the hotel and looking at them, by the way. And 
In turn, for these article marketers submitting genuinely written content, they would earn a link back to their blog, website, forum, scholarly article, ebook, or affiliate link that was in the body of the article or the link referenced in the about the author section in hopes of naturally improving their search engine optimization. But again, because Google penalized, started penalizing article directories because a lot of the black hat SEO spammers were using a black hat SEO article spinning program. So basically an article spinning program, they take an article, they put it, they put pour the contents of the, of the article into the machine, the, the program, and the program would rewrite the whole article in less than, about probably less than five, five minutes, five, 10 minutes. And then they would repost the article with a, what we call a variation of the article. And it did work for a while until Google got the hang of things and they burned everybody who was doing it. Is article marketing effective today? Somewhat. Google will still send traffic in a sense to writers who submit articles to certain directories. I know that as a fact, I can say this that, um, well, let me, let me leave, leave the name out. Let me, I was getting ready to drop a name and I said, well, let me just think about that again and leave it out. One major article directory back in the 1990s, then they've been around literally, I, if I have my facts straight, since Google started. Google started in 98, and this article directory allegedly started in 98. And then the AdSense Google program came about in 2003. So this article directory was ranking extremely well. They were making so much money in AdSense income that they actually... I, if I have my facts right, I think they still have a nice maybe three or four story building that is just primarily for the article marketing staff, potentially to this day, even though that article directory is no longer a part of the AdSense program, they've been around ever since Google started. They are one, and all I'm going to say is it starts with the letter E. That's it. That's all I'm saying. It starts with E. You figure out the rest. <laughs> Um, to this day, they are still around because they do have longevity in the game and our authors are still submitting content. The only thing is they're submitting content to this one article directory that's been around since 1998. The only downside is this: you get one link. So the link can allegedly be in the body of the article. And then the link can also be in the author or about section or about the author section. In today's world, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> One link pointing to a blog or a website or a YouTube channel is just, <laughs> it's just not going to cut the mustard in the body of an article. So those people are kind of like in the article marketing, the, the Fred Flintstone, the era, they are still back there to me. <laughs> Um, and again, benefit of article marketing is to get traffic back to your blog, website, scholarly article, ebook, YouTube channel, whatever the case is. Article marketing is also good in a sense because not only does it improve your traffic rank for your blog or website in the United States, but depending on the nature of your content, the target market, you could use article marketing to a point that you could target other countries from your home computer. So you could be an affiliate marketer working from home in the United States of America and then use article marketing as a means of maybe getting the attention of the Arab world over in the United Arab Emirates, such as Dubai or Kuwait or even Iran. So depending on the nature of your content, you can target foreign markets with article marketing if you play your cards right. And don't spam. The only other thing about article marketing is that this article directory that's been around since 1998, they are like literally the last of the Mohicans that are still making money. But even though that article directory is not making money, 
from AdSense anymore. Another article site that I'm gonna tell you about, and I, I'm gonna drop the real name, medium.com. The beauty of medium.com, they're not just an article directory, it's a content site. So in other words, you can write anything you want and you can write like a dog on the internet with no previous experience. I mean, putting a quote, putting a period, the question mark or the exclamation point outside of the quotes, you can have bad grammar and everything. And you can include relevant links in the body of the article. Now the beauty of medium.com is that form of article marketing works. Google likes medium.com. So if you play your cards right, you can use article marketing still as a means of promoting yourself. Now mind you, though medium.com is literally a content site or article directory or whatever you want to call it, and yes, it does improve your natural SEO, your search engine optimization, be mindful how many links you post in your article. You can put as many as 50 hyperlinks in the body of your content, and I'm being dead serious. You can also include affiliate links right in the body of the article. So the affiliate links can post to Amazon, it can post to eBay, and all you have to do is plug in the raw affiliate link into the body of a Medium article in rough draft mode. You hit your space bar or you hit the enter button and then after that, the link will the link will show up. I mean, well, the link will convert to an actual visible, a clickable hyperlink. It'll show what eBay or Amazon, whatever the product or service that you're promoting through that affiliate link on eBay or Amazon, that will show up in the body of the article after you hit the publish button. And you'll also see a preview of it in the um, when you preview the body of your article. That's the beauty of writing and publishing content on medium.com. The other, the original article directory that I was talking about that's been in inception since 1998, you're not able to do that. The con to that is you're only able to promote one link in the body of the article. And unfortunately, you cannot promote affiliate links whatsoever. So, not to my knowledge, I could be wrong. but. You can only promote one link in the article, whether it's in the about the author section, or you can promote it in maybe in the body of content. But if that link is pointing to a blog, a website, or a forum, or a YouTube channel, then you can't go and promote, to the best of my knowledge, I could be wrong today, if, they, if the company changed their policy. You can't promote another link, which is an affiliate link. It's just one link, to the best of my knowledge, and that's it. Medium.com, you can put one, two, three, four, even five affiliate links in the body of the article. And you don't have to wait for someone to review your content before that published Medium article goes live. Once you hit publish, that thing is live. And it's indexable by search engines in less than five minutes. So Medium.com, yes, that's a form of effective article marketing. The, for it to work, you have to be passionate about writing. You can also use medium.com as a as a um, as a vehicle to grow your YouTube channel. You can use it as a means of growing your YouTube channel and promoting affiliate links. You can also use medium.com as a means of just getting your presence out there without owning a domain name, a blog, or a website. But however. If you start generating traffic through your medium.com writings and you start making money online, it is a wise choice to reserve a domain name and dedicated web hosting later down the road. The reason being is because you don't want to continually rely on and use free services as a means of making money online. You want to have your own professional online real estate. And when you have your own professional online real estate where people see your own domain, your www.com address, and they see that you have your own site that's pointing to that domain people respect you more you're likely to get more sales you're actually able to improve your site's natural search engine optimization and just overall it's better for your side hustle 
So yes, you can use medium.com as a free cost-effective means. You don't have to pay anything. The only thing that's required is effort. You have to be passionate about what you're doing, okay? So head on over, check out medium.com. If you're not on there, you can create a free account. They have recently updated their publisher policies for making money from medium.com's partner program. Currently, to be honest, I was kicked out. Yeah, I was removed from the medium.com partner program because I'm not focused on air on building followers. I used to just write content just to be writing content and I didn't care about the follower following the the follower count. So is there money to be made on medium.com? You betcha. But the thing is this, when you write and publish content, go out and take time, in which I didn't do, so that's why I was removed from the medium.com partner program. Go out and take time to follow other medium medium writers in your niche. Whatever your niche is, just go and search wherever or medium and look for related followers in your niche. Start following those people and some of those people will actually follow you back. The good news about that is most of those followers will take time to write one or two sentence comments on your articles after you publish them. It's really good because it gets traffic and it'll actually indirectly and subliminally stimulate the algorithm to potentially move your medium.com articles up in search engine results pages. And if you have affiliate links promoted in the body of your medium.com article and links pointing to your blog, website, or YouTube channel, the, the total benefit across the board is you're improving the SEO for your blog or website, and if your blog or website has Google Ads on it, then you're likely to earn more AdSense revenue. Whatever other affiliated advertisements you have on your blog or website, that link is in the body of that medium article, you're likely to generate an affiliate sale. That's a second stream of passive income. The third beneficial effect is improved search engine optimization. The more you publish articles with links pointing to specific pages on your blog or website, the more you're likely to move up in natural search engine results pages. It doesn't cost you anything. It's only effort and dedication to create lots and lots of content. Hopefully that helps about article marketing and using medium.com. Now I'm gonna move on to blog commenting. Blog commenting, it's old school. It still works and yes, it's just as effective as writing and publishing an article. Blog commenting is when you read someone's blog they have a self-hosted WordPress blog or a static HTML or PHP website. They have at the bottom of the article or the blog post, they have a section form fields where you can enter your name, email address, and a link to your URL. The uniform the resource locator is your URL address or HTTPS hypertext transfer protocol secure. That's what HTTPS means. Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. HTTPS means your domain name is secure. So that, that inspires people to trust you. So when you put your HTTPS or your URL address in that URL form field, that's a form of boosting or improving your natural search engine optimization through blog comments. When you comment on a blog, it is always a wise choice to at least, when leaving a comment, don't leave a two sentence or one liner blog comment. If you plan on using blog commenting as a means of naturally building your side hustle from the ground floor up, it is a wise choice and even if you enter a URL to a link to a YouTube video in the URL section of a blog, it's a wise choice to at least leave a 200 word comment with keyword rich, relevant 
you know, keyword rich relevant to the nature of the blog. In other words, if the, uh, I want to say, if the, if, the, if the niche of the blog is about travel, let's say you have a URL to a YouTube video maybe about cooking. Okay, that's cool. But at least after you enter the link in the URL section, in the blog comments, write, take time to write a natural, meaningful comment, at least 200 words wrong, long. So here's an example. Hey, I took time to read your travel blog. I really like, you know, your images. I enjoyed watching that. You actually inspired me to get a, um, a, to book a travel ticket, you know, to book a vacation online to go to that place to see how it is based off of reading your blog. You will write naturally in the blog comments section as if you were having a fluent conversation with another human being. This is a grassroots, basic brick and mortar approach to building your side hustle from the ground floor up. If you only have a YouTube channel and you're looking to build subscribers through blog commenting, commenting on blogs with meaningful blog comments and adding the link, not the link directly to your YouTube channel, but you're adding a link to specific YouTube videos in the blog comment section will build your YouTube based side hustle from the ground floor up. The beauty of adding a link to specific YouTube videos in the blog comment section is that you are inspiring strangers, people from across the internet that you don't even know to come to your YouTube videos and watch them. So you're earning watch time from commenting on blogs. How much does it cost you? Nothing. It costs you zero. What it costs you is time, your creativity, your energy, your persistence, your dedication. Take time to write a 200 word comment. So here's a strategy. If you make it YouTube just your side hustle, let's say never mind blogging, never mind a website, let's just say you have a YouTube channel and that YouTube channel alone is your side hustle. I'm giving you a free million dollar marketing advice. Pay attention and take notes. Let's say YouTube is just your side hustle you don't want a domain name, you don't want hosting, you just want to do YouTube videos. That's fine, right? You want to build watch time and subscribers to your YouTube videos from all corners of the internet. So what you do is this. You create a schedule in Microsoft Word, Google Docs, or on your computer, or even write it down and tape it to your computer's, the side of your um, computer uh, screen, your PC screen, and say, let's say Monday, you're gonna focus on, let's say Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're gonna focus on making one hour YouTube videos and posting those one hour YouTube videos three times a week to your channel. That's all you're gonna do. You're gonna create a one hour YouTube video, you're gonna edit, you're gonna, if you need to edit, work on that one hour YouTube video, upload that one hour YouTube video, to your channel Monday Wednesday and Friday right you're gonna stick to the script of doing just that nothing more Monday Wednesday Friday create shoot a one-hour YouTube video add the little necessary ingredients that you need to add upload it to your channel right let's say Tuesday and Thursday you're gonna focus on doing nothing, and I mean nothing, 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 but blog commenting. You're gonna use this brick and mortar, grassroots, humble approach, which costs you nothing. Pay attention, because this is gonna make you a lot, a lot of money, and it's gonna make you, in the long run, if you listen and take heed to what I'm saying, it's gonna make you really, really rich. Tuesday and Thursday, you're going to find high traffic, relevant blogs on the internet that have 
ample amounts of traffic coming to him. There is two ways to find out if that trap if that blog is worth it. You can research the traffic rank on Amazon's Alexa.com or you can use Comscore. Comscore is also a traffic ranking site to the best of my knowledge. Uh, if I have my facts straight, I think there's still ranking sites today like Amazon Alexa. If you can't find a traffic ranking site that's effective, because I know Amazon's Alexa is shutting down in May, so I think it's May 1st they're shutting down. So this will be the last month that Alexa will be up and running. You may want to refer to Comscore or perform a search in your favorite search engine for more information on, um, you can put in quotes, excuse me, traffic ranking websites like Amazon Alexa or something like that. And then once you find that site, you take the URL from that blog and then you paste it into the search form field section to measure the traffic to see how much traffic that blog is getting. And you're doing this to investigate and see for yourself, is this, tra is this blog worth commenting on? Do they rank well in search engines? Because what you wanna do when you comment on blogs with links to your YouTube videos is you want to generate traffic and watch time to your YouTube videos. You want to increase your watch time. The purpose of increasing your watch time by using this grassroots organic approach by commenting on blogs is to get up enough watch time, 4,000 hours or more, so that you can apply and be um, easily accepted with no delay into the YouTube partner program so therefore going forward you can continue in your side hustle of continually uploading YouTube videos but after you've been approved as a YouTube partner ads Google ads will automatically show up in your YouTube videos and all of this can be done zero cost zero settle nothing but you got to get in that horse tunnel vision mindset you gotta really buckle down you gotta hunker down and really get serious because this youtube side hustle stuff of uploading videos three times a week and then blog commenting if you do this consistently for two to three years you are going to be in the driver's seat you'll never have to work a regular job again so please listen and if you're looking to start a YouTube-based side hustle with zero dollars. All it requires is a good GoPro camera. You don't have to get the remote control. It requires a GoPro camera or an Apple iPhone or even just a reliable camera phone with 4K. You need 4K for your, um, for your videos because 4K, uh, unwritten, can't really confirm, but I'm just going to throw it out there as a thought. 4K allegedly ranks better in YouTube search results. 4K and better because there's 4K, 5K, and then 6K. The most recent GoPro Hero 10 camera has 5.3K. And then I think the Blackmagic cameras are 6K. Maybe there's some that it's, it's uh, allegedly 8K. I'm not quite sure, but I know that the Blackmagic cameras are 6 you know, some are 6k and I'm not quite sure how 6k looks but 4k if you get 4k perfect whatever you do do not make videos with DSLR I just recently sold my Canon EOS Rebel T7 and um, it was such a hassle just adjusting the lens and trying to get the focal points correct and the, you know the shutter speed and ISOs I don't know all that ISO stuff so I'm not in I'm not a you know perfectionist when it comes to adjusting the lens and trying to get the, sh the sharpest quality i turned this gopro on and i got a sony a7 III um at the yard and i'm gonna tell you beautiful i don't have to do any work with adjusting the sharpness and the quality of these videos i turn this bad boy on and start filming i'm good i can just focus on my content so get yourself a gopro it is worth the investment if you have an Apple iPhone, learn how to use the 4K video filming feature. And um, if you have a regular uh, phone that has a 4K, great. But get in the consistent mindset of um, creating videos. Your videos are not always going to be perfect, but 
the beauty is you're getting in the mindset slowly but surely of making YouTube videos. And as you make YouTube videos and stick with a consistent schedule, like I said, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, make shoot a one hour YouTube video, upload to your channel Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Tuesday and Thursday, make it an effort. Let's say you're gonna comment on 10 blogs with natural content because this is a lot of work. But the benefits of this, this will pay off for you. Let's say you comment on 10 blogs a day, five to 10 blogs a day. Each blog comment is gonna be 200 words each. You're gonna speak in these blog comments as if you were having a fluent conversation with another human being. You're not gonna use any kind of SEO black hat program. You're not, and another thing too, you're not gonna copy and paste a previous comment that you left on another blog and leave it on the most recent blog because the search engines will notice they will penalize you for what's called duplicate content. Duplicate content, you can get kicked out of search engines altogether. And if you have a uh, blog or a website that's in the business of duplicate content, or even if you use your YouTube channel and leave duplicate content on numerous blogs, you that you can not only cause that specific blog post to be delisted from search engines, you could be potentially shadow banned on YouTube because now the algorithms from the search engines are picking up duplicate content and then du the YouTube algorithm will also notice quietly that you're using duplicate content on blogs. So you could be potentially shadow banned on your YouTube channel. Don't do that. I'll get into shadow banning a little later down the road. I can't tell you everything that I know. <laughs> but basically, to, to make it easy, Comment on five blogs, Tuesday and Thursday. Comment on five blogs, and yet in this case, it is okay if you promote one specific YouTube video in all five blogs. Just be mindful that the nature, the body of the blog comment is what we call unique content. It is naturally written, you didn't use a program, you're not rewriting it with variations of the words that you used in previous blog comments, you're actually taking the time to to write these blog comments. Now you don't have to sit at the computer keyboard and manually type every blog comment. You can use your phone, and your phone has a, uh, do I have my phone with me? I do. So let me show you guys real quick. If you want to leave a natural blog comment, what you can do is, I got Google Docs opening up, and I'm just gonna open up an, uh, a blank document and show you real quick. Okay, so, okay. Hold on one second here. Okay, so let me show you real quick here what I'm talking about. I'm gonna just gonna pull up a blank document, and I believe I've done this in a previous YouTube video. So, pulling up a blank document, if you can see here, it's loading. All right, there is, if you take a look over in this section, you see a little microphone, right? I'm gonna turn the microphone on. This is me speaking into my phone. And this is a sample blog comment, period. Going forward, comma, I'm showing people in this YouTube video how to use their phone and their voice to create content, period. Using this form of creating content is called speech recognition content creation, period. Okay, so now that you've seen that I did that, you can use this speech recognition function on your phone, the microphone, to you know, speak your blog comments. And then when you're done, all you do is in Google Docs, okay, hold on, see this? Okay, it says select all. So I'm gonna select all, right? And then it asks me to copy, see? Click copy. 
once you copy the, copy the content, you head on over to the blog that you're about to leave the comment on. You go in the form field of the blog comment section, hold down your phone, and it's going to ask you what you want to do. Paste the comment in. You paste it in. Your URL to your YouTube video is already pasted in. And then when it asks you your name, you can put in whatever you want to put in, which is the name of your YouTube channel, your real name, whatever your name you want to put in there. That's totally up to you. Once you have your comment pasted in the blog comment section, you have your email address form field section, put, a, put your email address in there, and then enter a link in the URL section to that specific YouTube video that you want linked to from that blog post. After all of that's done, just hit send or hit comment or whatever the button says, transmit, submit. And most cases, the blogger has to moderate the comment before they approve it. Some bloggers will have what's um, known as automatic or automated blog comment approval. Those are really great um, high traffic blogging blogs to comment on where they automatically approve your blog comments, especially if you have previous blog comments already approved. You don't have to wait that initial period for the blogger to read your comment and approve it. You know, you can just go ahead and comment. It automatically gets approved and voila, you automatically set yourself up to get traffic. Um, what we call passive traffic for years to come coming from that blog and other blogs that you leave your comments on. This is a natural and a sure shot. It's a brick and mortar. It is a zero dollar cost effective way of building your YouTube side hustle from the ground floor up. How long does this take to benefit from? I would say stick to the script two to three years get used to doing this in other words what i mean is if you're going to use blogging blog comments as a means of earning watch time and earning subscribers to your youtube videos don't start commenting on blogs and then you just fall off you know what i'm saying like you get inconsistent or you just stop doing it because there are millions of blog readers who read the blogs of strangers and they read other strangers comments so with that said the more consistent you are in your blog commenting um, endeavors and you leave blog comments strangers from corners of the internet will read your comments people you don't even know they will get curious they will click on that link where your name is because your name actually turns into a hyperlink to that youtube video once your blog comment is automatically approved and then they will come to your youtube video now even if they don't watch the whole video or some you still earn some partial watch time so this is why it's good to use this free approach to building your YouTube video based sign hustle. Like I said, this is not a get rich quick operation, but it is get rich. It is get rich, but you gotta, you gotta play the game of patience. You gotta do this as a labor of love. You have to do it, do it, do it, do it. Just keep doing it. Don't look forward to earning a full-time income from your YouTube based side hustle for at least two to three years. This gives you time to understand and develop strategic YouTube marketing ploys that other YouTubers are not doing. What works and what doesn't. This also allows you to split test, you know, do A and B split test to see, you know, okay, this is not working over here or this is working and I noticed that my competition is not doing that. So I'm going to deploy this, this, and this, and I'm going to strategize by Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm going to create instead of doing these 15 second shorts and keep doing short videos i'm just gonna hash it i'm gonna bang this thing out monday wednesday and friday i'm gonna shoot one hour youtube videos and i'm gonna upload i'm gonna stick to the script of doing like this for three years then on tuesday and and thursday i'm going to stick to the script of commenting five to ten blogs in excess of 200 words minimum because I want this to be indexed by search engines. Man, I want some traffic. I want some subscribers. I want some ad revenue. But maybe, you know, I'm just not ready to get a domain name and paid web hosting yet. That's fine. YouTube 
can be your full-time side hustle earning five to six figure monthly incomes the only thing that's required is that oh uh, she's like I, I i don't know she's looking at me to let her in i don't know um i'm in the hotel lobby down here at the western in wilmington it's really nice in here folks i tell you but you have to stick to the script and even speaking on myself me i'm not talking about subliminally about nobody else i'm pointing at me and i'm humble enough to say this on video i'm guilty i have flopped i'm a stock flop with consistency but i'm telling you folks consistency with youtube video marketing blog commenting or even writing content for your blog or website it will put you in the position to make enough money to quit your day job and work for yourself this could go from a side hustle to a multi-million dollar operation and like i said i'm humble enough to bring myself low and say i could have been a millionaire a long time ago 10 12 13 years ago i did not understand this whole youtube marketing long form content marketing blogging stuff years ago i could have been really rich but hey i'm still here i'm blessed to be in the land of living and moving forward and sharing this information with you okay so if you want to use a free way to make money online youtube is the way like i said shoot an hour video monday wednesday and friday tuesday and thursday make it an effort comment on five to ten blogs in excess of 200 words each in the body of the url section include a link to specific youtube videos that increases your watch time okay moving forward from youtube now i'm going to talk about staying consistent with blogging blogging is your standalone voice it is your way of expressing yourself about any niche topic a lot of working class people are looking to create a secondary stream of passive income with blogging it is feasible ladies and gentlemen please believe it. it's very very feasible it can be done you can make enough money to not only quit your day job but you can become a millionaire from blogging the thing with blogging is this it requires that you have to sit down and really write out you don't have to be absolutely perfect but strive for excellence to write a well thought out blog post um, you can practice in Google Docs on your phone let me actually delete this here so I just hit the back button and again Google Docs if you don't have it on your phone please download it I have mine downloaded oh, let me see here I have mine downloaded right there so all you have to do is just push it push tap mm, just oh, I got the news coming up. Hold on a second. Just tap it, and it brings up Google. Oh, come on, man, making me look bad here. <laughs> Just bring up Google Docs, and then you hit the plus sign. Uh, okay, you hit the plus sign to open up a new document. When you open up a new blank document, then you start. You, you hit the microphone function, and then you start speaking your content. So. Excuse me. With that said, you can practice the speed of writing your content. Excuse me. When you start mastering the art of writing blog posts, you'll notice in about just sit and speak into your phone for about 20 or 30 minutes, you can easily do 2000 words. To get the search engines really interested in you, you only need to publish one blog post a day in excess of 1,500 words or more. 1,500 words or more per day. That can be done in less than 45 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. If you're working class and you're looking to create a secondary stream of income, blogging is definitely the way to do it. That boss ain't giving you a raise. I've been there, folks. Or the boss just gave you a 25 cent raise. I've been there, folks. I've been literally slapped in my face, virtually, not physically, but virtually slapped in my face when I asked for a pay raise. I worked for a furniture retailer in 2017. I earned a company over $171,000 in sales. I was slapped in my face with a 25 cent raise. I was asked to work on Saturdays till close. I didn't want to do it. I did it though. I, I did do it. 
and um, on the I want to say on the day I was wrongfully terminated I came to work dressed up shirt and tie and a polo sweater I was asked to take out the trash dressed up I did and I was fired shortly afterwards I made the company over five thousand dollars in sales in I believe about an hour's time or close to an hour's time I nipped two customers in the bud instantly the first sale was over forty four thousand I I'm assuming over four thousand two hundred dollars in about I, in about virtually I'm gonna assume about 45 minutes so I love doing what I'm doing in terms of sales and marketing but now I shifted focus Bloomberg style and I'm, I'm doing it online because working for someone else you will never make the kind of money that you want to make I'm telling you this folks real talk even when they ask you to work overtime you will not make the money that you want and when your boss asks you to work overtime respectfully decline because those overtime hours without you thinking intensely about it you're trading time for money trading time for money over a 10 to 20 year span is not the transformation business solution to increasing your income and living on a financially healthy retirement building your side hustle from the ground floor up and believing in yourself and continually doing what you do online as a labor of love and a side hustle will earn you steady streams of passive income. So when your boss comes to you and asks you to work overtime, respectfully respect your employer, respectfully decline. When you come home from work or before you go to work in the morning, set aside an hour or two to use your phone and create content. When you use your phone and the speech recognition function to create content for your blog in rough draft mode, time yourself. How fast can you talk out 2,000 words in 30 minutes? Or how much content, how many words can you create in 30 minutes time? If you speak into your phone in rough draft mode before you publish the final edit for about 30 minutes straight, as if you were having a fluid conversation with another human being, but you're creating a blog post in rough draft mode, after that 30 minute time frame, you use Google Docs to measure out your word count. To get the search engines to notice you, as I mentioned, you only need to publish one blog post a day in excess of 1,500 words or more. This natural form, this grassroots, zero dollars, I say zero dollars because it doesn't cost you anything to create content. It'll cost you money to invest in a domain name and paid web hosting. That part, yes, you have to pay for, but for you to create content with your phone, it costs you nothing. Even if you walk around with a phone with no active cell phone service, you can still hook up at like a fast food restaurant or in a hotel lobby. I do have cell phone service, by the way, so don't think I'm talking about me. Um, but you, you know, let's say if you're walking around with a phone and you have no active service, you can still use a hotel lobby, you can use a fast food joint and connect to free Wi-Fi and still access the internet to create and store away this rough draft mode. But back to what I was saying, even if you get in the consistent mindset of using Google Docs and you're speaking your content for at least 30 minutes and you're using two hours a day to create content and to publish a final edit and do all of that to your blog, that two hours a day that you invest after coming home from work or be, before going to work and writing a blog post, that two hours a day invested for two to three years will earn you enough money when your blog is monetized with Google ads and ads from affiliate networks, that will pay off. But you have to want to do this, ladies and gentlemen, this quiet money. This is the secret sauce that your employer doesn't want you to know. This is the way to liberating yourself to earning steady streams of passive income. There's millions and millions of dollars to be made online. Now, I'm not telling you 
all of this to go on the job and say, you know, I saw some light skinned black guy on YouTube and he's talking about how to uh, get out of your day job and how to make money online. What I'm doing is this, this light skinned, high yellow black guy is giving you this information. I'm being really straight frank in these videos. I'm giving you this information to empower you free of charge because there's a lot of good working class people that are stuck. But if you want to get unstuck financially, you have to change this. Even that goes with me. Spiritually, I have to change this. There's still some more work that I have to do up here. Spiritually, entrepreneurially, yes, I myself, I'm not talking about anybody else. I'm talking about me. I'm humble enough to say that I have a lot more changes to make. If I want to prosper spiritually and entrepreneurially, I got to be willing to change this and do what's right and necessary to move forward. Me giving you this free information without expectation is going to keep me blessed financially and it's going to keep me moving forward. Consistency is rewarded on the internet by search engines. Consistency will take your side hustle from a small potato work from home operation, whether you start a blog, whether you promote a YouTube channel through article marketing or blog commenting, or even if you promote your, whatever you're doing online through social media, search engines and algorithms reward you through consistency. If you're on my Facebook page, you actually notice that I post a lot of content from Bloomberg, Forbes, CNN. And as a result of that, the Facebook algorithm actually notices my consistency. I post these articles and, and, and other sorts of content because it's meaningful. I want to empower people with good content, but I also know that the algorithm will um, keep my Facebook page, you know, ranked in a certain kind of way. So therefore, if I promote a link to whatever in a group or a fan page, the probability of that content will be greater in being seen by complete strangers or people within my Facebook group because of my posting consistency. The same thing applies to um, search engines and YouTube. When you consistently upload videos to your YouTube channel and share that content, the YouTube algorithm actually notices you. When you write and publish a lot of blogs, the search engines, Google, Bing, Yahoo, Neva, um, DuckDuckGo, even the Russian search engine Yandex, they will notice your blogging consistency. And as a result of your blogging consistency and publishing what we call long form content in excess of 1,500 words or more, the search engines will bump you up in natural search engine unpaid results pages. The probability of moving you up in search engine results pages based on your blogging consistency is that you're getting you're gonna get you're gonna make more money from ads on your blog. That's the bottom line. And more money from ads on your blog as a side hustle means you're inching closer to quitting your day job. You're inching closer to becoming liberated from your employer in which if you've been on a job for maybe five or ten years and you're sick and tired of that same routine of going to work every day and you're coming home from work burned out and all you want to do is go to sleep after you come home from work and maybe have a, have a nibble of food or something, wake up and repeat the same thing, then yeah, it's time for you to start your blogging based side hustle. Invest time into creating content for your blog, but moreover, have a willing mind to change the way you think. Like I said, the same thing applies to me. I had to be willing to change the way I think. If I'm not willing to change the way I think, I become stagnated, I will be stuck. That goes spiritually and entrepreneurially. Be willing to make the necessary changes. Take it with a grain of salt. Keep going. Like I said, there's millions and millions of dollars to be made on the internet. Blogging, affiliate marketing, YouTube video, um, YouTube video marketing, there's millions and millions of dollars. YouTube videos, YouTube marketing costs you nothing. Blogging, creating content for your blog, it costs you nothing. That is a grassroots 
brick and mortar, humble approach to making money. Like I said, the only investment that's required is investing in a domain name and paid web hosting. That's it. There's nothing more, a domain name and paid web hosting. And by the way, it is a good idea to um, pay a year of web hosting and your annual domain name fee up front. So this way you have a peace of mind knowing you don't have to pay month to month. I like to just go ahead and just pay the whole thing up front so I can just go ahead and just focus on my content and it gives me a peace of mind because I don't like paying. I, I just don't like to keep paying month to month. And when I have a bill, I like to just knock it out right then and there. That's part of the reason why I, my credit score is currently over 800. And it's very humbling because I have made some bad credit decisions in the past. I mean, terrible. I used to be in collections. I mean, I had, if I can recall, I might have had a collector from a bank calling me. This was years and years ago when I took a trip to California. I'll get into that in future videos, but I'll talk about credit later on and how that benefits your side hustle. But today, I'm blessed to have over 800 credit score. That's very humbling, ladies and gentlemen. I am not bragging because anything could happen to me and my credit score can drop. So I'm still as vulnerable as you, but believe through consistency, having a willingness to change your mindset, create a lot of content for your blog, your website, your YouTube channel. Just be consistent because there's more than enough money to be made online for everybody. There's more than enough money to go around for everyone, but you have to be willing to change the history of human thought process and, and just know content is king, whether it's a blog post, a YouTube video. Gary Vaynerchuk will tell you the same thing. Content is king. It will always be king. This is how search engines continually make their billions of dollars from paid advertising. They index fresh content into their search engine results pages. So when you get consistent and you're consistently uploading YouTube videos, you're writing and publishing blogs, either five days a week or even three days a week in excess of 1,500 words or more for two to three years, then your mind will change. Your mind will adjust. It's, okay, I have to write a blog post today. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me write this in rough draft mode. Then you're getting used to the point where you're using Google Docs and you're speaking your content and then you're noticing within 30 minutes you can do up to 4,000 words. You only need one blog a day for two to three years to make enough money to quit your job. 4,000 words? Imagine doing 4,000 words Monday through Friday for three years. You'd be, enough, you'd be making enough money from AdSense and affiliate programs to tell your employer hasta la vista. All right? I'm going to go ahead and get up off of here now because i got to shoot the next video and i got to let this camera cool down. This is i got the backup battery in here. Um, I'm going to take a break from this video. Um, pause for the cause and then I'm going to move to another hotel. I'm going to get ready to shoot a video for um, the core I got some more core questions and answers that I'm going to answer. Um, but before I do that, I just want to say thank you so much for taking time to watch this video. I hope that you got something out of it. Even if you felt that I said gibberish, I'd like to hear what you think. So, um, feel free to leave a comment anytime and before you leave please feel free to smash the like button in this YouTube video okay I really appreciate it because it would actually help me in the uh, with the YouTube algorithm um, so thank you in advance for smashing the like button and um, thank you again for your time watching this video just remember a job is not the only way to make money school teaches us to keep the system going ladies and gentlemen a job means just over broke. If you've been on a job for a while, you need it to pay your bills, your rent, mortgage, keep food in the fridge. I totally get it. I have been job to job to job. I've been in the workforce uh, literally off and on about 25 years. I don't know job security, but I know believing in myself. I don't care how many people turn on me, walk away from me, talk bad about me. Oh, you did, he did, you ain't got this, you ain't got that believe in myself and I'm giving this information to you for you to think about in believing in yourself and starting a side hustle just remember a side hustle can become a multi-million dollar business but it takes you to make the first initial action step and believe in yourself do the transformation business work out of inspiration 
or desperation. This is Sean with Side Hustle Inspiration. Thank you so much for your precious time watching this video. And once again, before you leave, please smash the like button. Thank you and God bless.